Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. They have given a function to us. We have to find its poles and as well as we have to find residue. Okay, so let me write the given function by calling f of z. So we have f of z. What is the function we have? Sine pi z square cos pi z square denominator z minus 1 z minus 2 square okay so it's quite easy okay so tell me for what values of z denominator will be 0 if i put z is equal to 1 this bracket will be 0 and if i put z is equal to 2 this bracket is 0 that means z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2 are singularities getting but it's quite simple so you can easily see its pole also with power order 1 and it is pole of order 2. So let me clearly mention. So here z is equal to 1 is a pole of order 1. So we can also call it as simple pole and z is equal to 2 is a pole of order 2. Yes, we got the poles with their orders. After that, we have to find residue. Actually, the residue has definition involving Lorentz series expansion. But see, it will be very hectic task, no? Since we have sine pi z square, cos pi z square. So instead of that, I will go for the formulas. If you have poles with some orders, so we have a separate formula to calculate residue. Let us use them. So let us find residue of f of z at first point z is equal to 1 at z is equal to 1 so it's it is a simple pole so we have a simple formula to calculate residue the formula is limit z tends to z naught z minus z naught f of z this is formula to calculate residue z naught is a point z naught is 1 here so i should write 1 here also 1 okay so yes so limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 what is my f of z let us put f of z this entire function i should put here sine pi z square plus cos pi z square whole divided by z minus 1 z minus 2 square tell me can we cancel anything here yes z minus 1 z minus 1 so this is equal to limit z tends to 1 sin pi z square plus cos pi z square in denominator z minus 2 square. Now what will I do? I will solve the limit. That means simply we have to put z is equal to 1 everywhere. So this is equal to sin pi at a place of z I am putting 1. Square of 1, 1 itself and 1 into pi you will get pi. Here also same thing will happen. 1 square is 1, 1 into pi, pi. So it is cos pi divided by z is equal to 1. So 1 minus 2 square. You know the value of sin pi? Sin pi 0, sin pi 0, cos pi minus 1. Using calculator also, huh? you can easily get its value. Simply you should put your calculator on radian mode. Okay, then you will get the value. So it is minus 1. 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 square. So minus 1 square is 1. So I got the residue minus 1. Okay. After that, we have to find residue at z is equal to 2. Just make a screenshot of it. Then we will go for the uh, second pole. Okay. So let us find residue of f at z is equal to 2. Right. 2. But see, 2 is a pole of order 2. So the previous formula is not applicable here. We have slightly different formula. So let me write a formula first. The formula is 1 upon n minus 1 factorial limit z tends to z naught n minus 1 derivative of z minus z naught raised to n f of z. So this is a formula of calculation of residue if you have order greater than 1 it means 2 3 4 like this we have order 2 so that's why i'm using this formula z naught is this point 2 so let me mention z naught is 2 here and here also okay n is a order what is its order its 
order is also 2. So n is also 2. 2 minus 1, 1. So 1 factorial limit z tends to 2. Here also 1, 1, uh, n is 2, 2 minus 1, 1. So only first derivative z minus 2, n is 2, f of z I am putting, what is my f of z? That function sine pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1, z minus 2 square. Favorite task, let us cancel out this z minus 2, z minus 2 square. 1 factorial is 1 itself, no need to write. Limit z tends to 2. Derivative of what? Derivative of that sign pi z square plus cos pi z square and the denominator is this z minus 1. See, we have to find derivative, right? Uh, at numerator, we have some function in denominator also. So, we should go for this u upon v formula. Already we have seen in previous video, but if you don't know, I am writing here v derivative of u minus u derivative of v upon v square. So, this is a formula when you have u upon v form. This is my u, this is my v. Let us apply that formula. Limit z tends to 2, v as it is, z minus 1, derivative of numerator, that means sine pi z square plus cos pi z square minus minus u, u means this sin pi z square, okay, uh, actually no mo more space is there, I need to remove this one. So, uh, this is sin pi z square plus cos pi z square into derivative of what? Denominator z minus 1 whole divided by denominator square. So, limit z tends to 2, z minus 1. We have to calculate derivative, addition is there, separate separate derivatives. Derivative of sin, derivative of sin is cos, cos pi z square, derivative of sin pi z square is cos pi z square, but by chain rule, whatever inside side, we should take its derivative. That means after writing the derivative of sin, we should write the derivative of pi z square, it is what pi is constant, derivative of z square is 2z. So, its derivative will be 2 pi z. It is a huge problem, no? so I cannot write each and every step here. Okay, So, that is why I am skipping some steps. After that, we will go for derivative of cos. Derivative of cos is minus sin, minus sin pi z square. After that, same story we will repeat. We should find the derivative of pi z square, which is 2 pi z, 2 pi z. Okay, I hope it is visible, otherwise I will write it again. Just a minute. Huh? 2 pi z finish minus this bracket as it is sin pi z square plus cos pi z square derivative of z 1 derivative of 1 0 divided by z minus 1 square after that we I will not simplify it huh? I will not simplify it. directly I will apply the limit if you try to simplify it will be a huge term again. I am going to put z is equal to 2 everywhere, huh? everywhere. I, I, I will try to write next part here. Okay, z is equal to 2. Uh, if I put 2 minus 1, 1 in bracket. If I put z is equal to 2 into 2 pi, 4 pi. If I put 2 here, 2 square, 4 cos 4 pi, cos 4 pi. Here too, it is 4 pi minus, no space is there, I am writing here, minus 4 pi. 2 here, 2 square is 4, 4 sin 4 pi, sin 4 pi, right? Bracket to complete, minus, minus. If I put 2 here, 2 square is 4, sin 4 pi, sin 4 pi. If I put 2 here, cos 4 pi okay divided by if i put 2 2 minus 1 1 1 square is 1 itself okay next part i will write here next part this is equal to see cos 4 pi is 1 what did i say cos 4 pi is 1 and sin 4 pi is 0 actually the fact is uh, where shall i write here here okay i hope it is visible to you sin n pi 
is always zero. Sin n pi is always sin two pi. N is natural number, get it? Uh, or integers. So sin n pi, sin two pi, three pi, four pi, five pi. All these are zero. So here four pi cos four pi. What did I say? One. So one into four pi, four pi. Sin four pi zero. Forget it. Minus sin four pi zero. Forget it. Cos four pi one upon one square is one. So this is four pi minus one. This is required residue. Getting. So in this way we have completed this problem. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you in next video.